Hi, this is Lori from lauriefair.com. Today I'd like to talk about ways to optimize your time by getting rid of time wasters. Now, what is a time waster? It could be, you know, a book that you're reading that you're really not enjoying, but you just continue reading it because you're feeling obligated. I ran into this recently. I had been asking myself more than 10 times, it's like, should I really keep reading this book? And finally I had to go, no, I really shouldn't. Let me get rid of that. I have stacks of other books I want to read. Let me go make time for them. Or it could be, you know, you know, a movie you're just popping in. You've watched it five times, but, you know, you don't know what to do, so you're just going to turn it on. Or, you know, TV is a, a common one that people feel like they're wasting their time on. It could be, you know, friends or people that you're spending time with. Now, if you're having a great time with them, that's great. I mean, it's not a time waster, but it could be, you know, maybe you have some friendships that they've just been friends for a long time, but you're really not getting anything out of the friendship anymore. And maybe even that, that person kind of is, is bringing you down and adding negativity into your life, you know, or, or some other variation of this. And so maybe, maybe spending time with that person really isn't good for you on a whole. Or it could be that you really like spending time with this person or this group of people, but the setting is wrong. You know, maybe you only ever see them like getting together in a restaurant and you, you don't feel like you get a chance to really talk to them and connect. And, and that's really what you want out of the relationship. So maybe, you know, getting together in a quieter setting. One of, one of the changes that I've made in a lot of my friendships is we get together at the Botanic Gardens instead of going to a restaurant and we walk around and we chat and you know you're you're not sitting at a restaurant eating a lot of food you don't need to eat and you know spending money that you don't really want to spend you just want to hang out with this friend um, and you get some great enjoyment of being out in nature and smelling the beautiful flowers so you know that's more beneficial for me but it might be that for you, the you know, you'd rather go to the restaurant, and kind of have that excitement, and be out amongst a lot of people, or maybe your time waster could be an activity. Um, it could be that your you know assistant coach at your kid's soccer game because you felt obligated to do so, but it's not really something you want to be doing. It's not a goal of yours. It's not an area that you want to grow in. You're not really having fun. So maybe next season, just say no and let someone else do it. You know, that's not the best use of your time. So take out a piece of paper and put a line down the middle. And on the left side, write time wasters, potential time wasters. And make a list of items that you think might be areas where you're wasting time in your life. And, and to determine that, I would ask yourself, first of all, are you getting a lot of enjoyment, of fun out of it? Because if you are... That's all you need. We all need to be happy. And if it's if you're having a lot of fun and enjoyment, that is good for you. That's a benefit. That's a good good use of your time. Second, ask yourself, okay, maybe I'm not enjoying this a lot, but I'm getting something I really want out of it, and that could be growth. You know, so maybe you're taking a class and class itself doesn't excite you, but you really want to learn that skill. So that is, you know, if it's enriching your life or grow, you know, bringing growth into your life, that's a huge benefit. You know, you, you may find there are other reasons why something isn't a time waster, but those are two things to definitely ask yourself. So make a list on the left side, maybe five to ten items. And then on the right side, make a list of what are the things that you really want to do, that you just feel like you don't have time for, you haven't made the time for, you know, what are the books you want to read, what are, you know, some activities that you'd really like to do, maybe there's a class you'd like to take, um, you know, a movie you want to go see, maybe you want to go see the, the Met opera shows, you know, that they do, but you just, you have made it a priority. So once you have this list, you can really stop and kind of assess, oh, you know, wow, here's the way I'm spending my time, you know, maybe it's, you're watching TV every night, you know, and it's it's just a habit that you have, but, you know, you'd really like to be out going to see the Met show, so maybe you need to make a trade-off and decide, oh, I can, you know, Wednesday night when they're doing the encore performance for the Met, I can 
turn off the TV and go see it at least once. You know, when you see it side by side, it's a little bit easier to make maybe a better decision and choice and go, wow, I'm wasting my time in this thing and I really want to be doing that thing and if I just cut this out, I'm golden. So, I suggest you do this activity at least twice a year. You know, it could be more often, it could be less, but but that's that's probably good. And, you know, our friendships and our relationships are a hard one to analyze, but I would suggest giving that a little bit of thought as well. You know, spend time with, with people you love being with and you enjoy and are fun. And then, you know, they could also be people that enrich you and grow you as well. You know, they challenge you and you challenge them. Those are the best relationships. So, optimize your time by getting rid of time wasters. And for other great tips to optimize your life, visit me at lauriethayer.com.